Hello, today I'm going to talk about the top bird flu symptoms, how when someone gets this whole problem, some really cool ideas that you can use to prevent it. Now, down below in the YouTube description, there's a link where I'm giving away a free video guide on shopping and using supplements, which is completely amazing and awesome. Now, bird flu or avian influenza is a scary virus because 60% of the people that actually get it, they die. The initial symptoms are pretty much just like a flu, and they usually bring in about they brought on two or eight days after someone's exposed to this virus. This includes a, a fever, coughing, sore throat, diarrhea, loss of an appetite, and, and feeling really like the, the Denver Broncos did after the Super Bowl. And it is very, very crappy and horrible. So as you can tell, it's not easy to differentiate between the flu and the bird flu. They're pretty much the same, which is bad too. Then after feeling sick for eight, ten days, possibly longer, depending on your immune system, somebody dies. Now, interestingly enough, the virus is carried inside the intestines of birds, wild birds, and many of them don't get sick. Kind of reminds me of that movie, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it, Outbreak, the old movie. Remember how the monkey had the virus that killed everybody and the monkey was all fine? You know, it's like, whoa, that's a crazy movie, huh? It dropped the bomb on the, almost dropped the bomb on the town. Now the good news is that unlike normal flu viruses, which is very annoying, bird flus can't really be transmitted from human to human. That's what I was scared of, because if that happened, then a lot of people would die. Now, you're probably wondering well, how in the heck do people even get this virus? Well, the thing is, this is the area where it gets a little gray and unknown. Okay, with a human virus. You know that people get infected from inhaling or touching the surface and then touching their face. That's how it gets spread. With H5N1 on the bird flu, some people get it by touching an infected bird. But, I mean, how many people actually touch birds, right? <laughs> infected birds. Uh, there's also been reports of people getting it from inhaling uh, the virus, coming in close contact with the bird, and even bathing in contaminated water. Okay. Now the thing is, this virus is, viruses in general are tricky little buggers, okay? They, they change and adapt, which is why the whole flu vaccine, you can get it and a week later it can be useless because the whole virus can adapt, uh, alter. That's how it survives. It's been around since we were walking around with little clubs and drawing pictures on cave walls. Okay. Now you're probably worried about eating chicken, <laughs> as I was when I was reading this. Uh, the thing is, when you cook chicken, it kills off all the viruses. So you just got to make sure you don't you cook chicken and don't eat raw eggs. You really want to protect yourself. Uh, another great idea would be, would be to hold, boost your immune system because it's a virus. And we've been fighting off viruses since, <clears throat> yeah, we've been walking around on four legs. I wonder if we didn't walk around on four legs when we were growing up. You believe in that? <clears throat> okay, excuse me. So, Okay. How, now I'm sure you know about the most common ways of improving your immune system, like, of course, sleeping, getting lots of water, not eating a whole bunch of junk food, you know, stay away from the, the hard drugs and the, the cigarettes and everything. Uh, but you probably don't know, there's a lot of some herbs out there that could boost your immune system, like Captain America, who is pretty much awesome. He was the guy that was, like, really skinny, and they injected him with some stuff and made him, like, you know, super big and powerful. Now, a great herb is something called black cumin seeds amazing herb definitely know about in the African Journal of Traditional Complementary Medicine it's a long name for a journal there was actually an HIV patient who was treated with this herb and it killed the virus which is pretty awesome there's a lot of other studies out there saying that really boosts the immune system fights off cancer blah 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 there's also a study where people were treated with this herb for four weeks have 30 percent increase in cells that fight off viruses helps another great herb that definitely should be on your radar is something called garlic you know the stuff that scares away vampires and stinks up your breath what's fascinating is how it got known for fighting off vampires the theory is that because it repels mosquitoes and mosquitoes suck your blood that's how people are like wait it could probably fight off other things that suck your blood like vampires okay now, besides keeping away vampires, stuff destroys viruses, bacteria, and harmful funguses like Daenerys Targaryen uh, kills her enemy. And she's that, that girl off of the Game of Thrones series that uh, you know, kills off guys and cities and, and battles 
you know, has dragons and she commands or whatnot, so it's cool. Now, the organization Cochrane Database uh, did some research on garlic and they found that people who took this herb for three months have fewer colds than people that didn't. So it, it's a great thing. Not really just scratch the surface, just tons of herbs that can really help. If you're really interested in this stuff, uh, I do have that, like I mentioned, there's that link below. I'm giving away a free report and, and video guide all about supplements. It talks about how to choose a good one from a, from a poor choice or risky one. Herbs you consider, uh, much more in detail about that as well as some herbs that are, are pretty da dangerous that people, a lot of people don't know about. And much more awesome stuff like crazy alternative health strategies that uh, you want to know about. I really appreciate your time. I hope this video did help a couple people out there. Until next time, cheers and take care of yourself, okay? Bye.